What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 i s a t News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Trevor Tordemasi. In today's news, the Taipei Performing Arts Center uses food for promotion. Bangladesh celebrates New Year's, and a female baseball coach takes to the field for the first time ever. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. Taipei Performing Arts Center promotes its food for promotion. Taipei Performing Arts Center promotes itself with delicious food. The Taipei Performing Arts Center is a new building near the Shilin Night Market. 台北表演艺术中心是士林夜市附近新盖的建筑。The building has three theaters. 剧院。It will host concerts. 音乐会。Plays, shichu, and other performances. The modern-looking building was designed, 设计 by a famous architecture company, 建设公司 and many people have praised, 称赞 the design. But about a month ago, some people on the internet noticed that the building looked like some popular Taiwanese snacks. 但大约一个月前，有一些网友注意到这座建筑看起来有点像台湾小吃。They created a funny meme, me in. For parts of the building, they added pictures of a meatball, gong wan, a pork blood cake, zhu xie gao, and tofu, bai ye. The meme went viral, feng chuan. Lots of people saw the picture on social media, 社交媒体 Many people thought it was especially funny, 特别好笑 because the theater is so close to the famous night market. So the performing arts center decided to use this meme. They worked with a famous braised food restaurant to design a dish which looks just like the meme. 他们跟一家有名的卤味餐厅合作，设计了一道看起来像迷因的菜。The restaurant is famous for their recipe 食谱 that includes caramel 焦糖。The recipe is a family secret 祖传秘方 and it is over sixty years old. The caramel plus their special blend of spices, 特殊混合香料 gives their food a sweet and spicy, 又甜又辣 flavor. The dish was available for three days, from April eighth to tenth. It was only sold at the Performing Arts Center. Going global. Mongjala Chingchu Xinyan, Bangladesh celebrates New Year's for the first time in two years. Thursday, April fourteenth, was a holiday in Bangladesh. 四月十四号，星期四，是孟加拉国的国定假日。That's because it was New Year's Day, according to Ganju, their country's calendar. The Bengali calendar was invented, 发明 in the 16th century, 十六世纪 It is the year 1492, according to the Bengali calendar, 日历 To celebrate the new year, people wore red clothing and they marched, sang, and danced. 人们穿上红色的衣服，在街上游行、唱歌和跳舞来庆祝新年。The night ends with a big feast. 盛宴 It was the first time in two years that the people of Bangladesh celebrated the New Year. The last two years of celebrations were suspended, 暂停 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Today's feature. MLB 新历史首位女教练上场。MLB sees first woman to coach on the field. Alyssa Nakan is the first female coach in Major League Baseball. She was hired in 2020. Alyssa Nakan 于二零二零年被聘为美国职棒大联盟首位女教练。
Gabe Kapler, the manager, 经理 of the San Francisco Giants, 旧金山巨人 chose her to be one of his assistants, 助理 And on April twelfth, she made history again. 四月十二号，她再次创造了历史 She became the first woman to ever coach on a major league baseball field. The Giants' regular first base coach was ejected from the game after he got into an argument. 巨人队的一垒教练在发生争执后被逐出比赛 So the manager asked Nakin to take over, 接管 for him. But first, she had to find her uniform, 制服 Then she put on her helmet, 安全帽 and ran onto the field. She received loud applause from the home team crowd. 她得到了观众的热烈掌声 After the game was over, Alyssa said that it was a big deal and that it was also an honor. The recap. So, in today's news bites. Some people noticed that the Taipei Performing Arts Center looked like some popular Taiwanese snacks. They created a funny meme using pictures of a meatball, a pork blood cake, and greasy tofu. The Performing Arts Center then worked with a famous braised food restaurant to design a dish which looks just like the meme. Thursday, April fourteenth, was New Year's Day according to the Bengali calendar. The Bengali calendar was invented in the 16th century. To celebrate the new year, people wore red clothing, and they marched, sang, and danced. And Alyssa Nakin is the first female coach in Major League Baseball. On April 12th, she made history again by being the first woman to coach on the field. She said it was a big deal and an honor. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we asked you where you would like to travel in time. Ten-year-old Athena Zhang from Guangfu Elementary School in Taichung wants to know more about her future career. I would like to go to the future and see what I am doing. Maybe I will be a teacher and teaching a lot of students. And fourteen-year-old Sunny from Zhishan Junior High School in Taichung City wanted to go a lot further. If I have the time machine, I would go back to the beginning of the Earth. I want to lie on a lawn and stare at the starry sky without haze. And also, I want to take a deep breath of the clean air. That will be a really interesting travel. And that does it for this week's Have Your Say. Remember, if your comment was chosen for the show this month, we'll be sending you a gift in the mail. Make sure to tune in again next week for an all-new question. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites. Brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app. <laughs>